It's gonna be a funny thumbnail. Hello everybody, my name is Offbeat Outlaw. Today's video is weird because... <laughs> Reference if you're a patron you got to see this 24 hours early if you're not a patron You should be one so you can see my videos 24 hours early recently. I have learned that some people uh, Don't like it when I call their favorite class bad Because I'm right. <laughs> I have been accused of hating on the monk of hating the monk as a class um, and and the sorcerer due to my recent ranking of it in my most recent tier list check it out if you also want to be angry But I don't really get it some class had to be at the bottom but because I don't subscribe to the usual understanding that the ranger is the worst class, people claim I hate the monk, which doesn't really track in my opinion. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't have the energy to hate a Dungeons and Dragons class. That's a lot of effort on something that doesn't matter. I can barely put effort into shit that matters. You think I have time to, to, to actively hate a Dungeons and Dragons class? That's absurd. It's so much effort for nothing. In fact, the monk isn't even my least favorite class in Dungeons and Dragons. My least favorite class is the rogue, and that's because I don't like playing rogues. I think the playstyle is boring. That's me. That's how I prefer. But hey, I don't like rogue. Doesn't mean they're bad. I like monk. I like monk quite a bit. But they're bad. I have ranked, I have looked at every single aspect of every single Dungeons and Dragons class in the entire game. And the only thing that the monk is good at is movement. If the only thing you can do is move, that's not great. And even still, a rogue was able to basically keep pace with the right spells and abilities a rogue can very easily keep pace with a monk and as you increase the distance to infinity rogues will win because they can cunning action every turn without any consequence whereas monks can't they have 20 uses of step of the wind at 20th level and then they lose but even still monks are good at movement i'll give them that but almost every other facet of Dungeons and Dragons outside of some specific roleplay scenarios, they aren't good at. Some people have even made claims to say that the monk is immortal. This isn't true either. The monk doesn't suffer the frailty of old, old age, as per the wording of, its, of this ability's description. This does not mean it doesn't die from old age. It just doesn't suffer any of the frailty. So you'll be an 80 year old man doing backflips, but you can still die, and you still might, probably will. The longer you live, the more likely you are to die. All the same, the monk is a class, so it's not invincible. It has great saving throws. However, these saving throws are bested by the paladin. It has moderate damage. It has pretty good damage from level five to 10, but after that, it falls off tremendously and gets beaten by every single class uh, head over handlebars. So what does the monk have other than movement? Nothing. Yes, Stunning Strike is is a decent, decent ability. It's quite good, and I think if the if the class had that ability expanded upon, it would be significantly better. But it doesn't. None of the classes or subclasses do that. None of the subclasses increase its damage, really, other than the Mercy Monk and the Astral Self Monk. Uh, the Kensei Monk is decent at increasing damage, but it's if you're playing a monk for damage, you're going to be beaten in almost every other, in every category by a fighter. So then why aren't you playing a fighter if you're doing it for damage? And listen, if you're playing a monk because you like playing monks, that's great. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about people who play it for RP reasons. I play monk for RP reasons. But I'm just saying that if I'm analyzing the abilities, from a technical mathematical standpoint, Monk is bad, okay? <laughs> well, at fourth level, you can't take falling damage. So can every spellcaster. Featherfall exists, and that's available at first level. Well, uh, you can catch ranged attacks, ranged weapon attacks. So that's only arrows, and at higher levels, you're getting mostly hit with energy blasts. And only the Astral Self can stop that, so that's one subclass that scales to a higher level with that ability. And it costs your reaction, which is a lot to give up. If there's one thing other than movement that I can think of that the monk is good at, it's that it's good at not being affected itself. It is good at avoiding being attacked 
and taking damage. It's good at avoiding stuff. So if you want a class that isn't gonna really do damage or affect the battlefield, but is more or less just gonna be an unhittable target, then maybe Monk is the class for you if you're looking from it from a from a combat perspective. But other than that, the Monk does not have anything, and I cannot in good conscience recommend it because it's not good. And yes, I know, your monk in your home campaign when chock full of magic items could bring down any monster. Yes, keep in mind, the difference in damage that I'm talking about is very small. Dungeons and Dragons classes, if we are to look at the grand scheme, are all quite balanced to each other. Is a sorcerer worse than a wizard? Yes, but marginally so. Is a monk worse than a fighter? I'd say well, more so than a sorcerer to a wizard, but you're still gonna be fine. You'll still get through the campaign. You'll still do stuff. You'll still have an excellent time playing. But when you go on to a YouTube video that is specifically analyzing the effectiveness of these classes from the number standpoint you have to acknowledge that one class is going to be on the bottom and in my per opinion and perspective from the analyses that i have done i haven't said all of my analyses so before you guys go into the comments and say well what about this and what about this and what about this i've done nearly everything anything that i can think of to test and see which by which metrics these classes can do. I've done goddamn jumping distance. Jumping distance. Nobody knows how to jump in D&D. I do. So yes, I get it. Monks are the meme punchy class that go zoom zoom. And they're great for that. I love them for that. But they're bad. So please stop insinuating that I hate the monk. It's weird. It's weird and defensive because I don't hate the monk. It, it, I have to defend my opinion of a class that I don't hate because you don't agree with the numbers. It's confusing. I, I, the same thing to you sorcerer mains as well. I don't hate sorcerer. I don't like rogues. <laughs> if there's a caster I don't like, it's the wizard. Why does the wizard get everything? Why can the wizard be a better fighter than some fighters? Why can the wizard do more single target area damage and do every job, including tanking? Why? And you're gonna look at me and tell me that the sorcerer is the one I hate? I don't get it. Yes, some classes are worse than others in D&D, but marginally so. And guess what? No matter what class you play, you're going to have the same amount of fun. The only difference between the characters I make and, and build and analyze and whatnot and the and the difference between the characters that you might play is I don't I'm not necessarily taking into account fun <laughs> all the classes are equally fun it just depends on your preferred play style this is a weird video to make why did I make that I made this video because I'm just sick of people saying that I hate certain classes whenever I rank them low like when I ranked the barbarian multi-class tier list people were saying I hated druid for some reason it, it, I, I don't get it every time I rank a class below average people hop to the comments and say that I hate that class which is a ridiculous statement because there the classes have literally been all over in terms of their placement the only class that hasn't is monk that's the only class I would say has a valid case for thinking that I hate them, but I don't. <laughs> they just are inarguably the worst class in D&D. But other classes, you guys have got no goddamn excuse. I put you all over this, all over the, the dang board in terms of multi-class effectiveness. People claim they hate sorcerers. Well, they missed the time that I put them in A tier for the fighter. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm fighting an unwinnable battle against the YouTube comment section. Y'all are going to think what you want. I just wanted to make this video for my own state of being, to make sure that I'm not going crazy. I, just, I don't have time to hate these classes. I barely have time to make videos and shit every morning. You think I've got time to actively stew over how much I hate the monk? Oh, baby. The facet of monks that I dislike the most is the people who, er who arrogantly defend it tooth and nail without considering the other class's abilities. Those are the only, that's the only thing I can say that I hate. And even then, that's moderate at best. Because at the end of the day, I don't care. 
or whenever a power building channel on Dungeons and Dragons says that a class is the worst. Stop getting angry about it. Guess what? We all are doing our best to analyze these classes, and someone the, someone's got to be bad. Someone's got to be the bottom. And in my personal opinion, from my mathematical analysis, it's the monk. Hate me all you want. But don't say I hate the monk, because I don't. I hate rogues. I want that to be known. I'm coming for you. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching this weird video. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of just a rant. Just me getting out my feelings because I was just... It's just getting annoyed! Ah! So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Bring that bell. Tell all your friends. Share this with your D&D group. Join the Patreon to see all of my videos 24 hours early. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs>